I really can't say after almost 30 years in this business a time where I've seen so many different problems in the world from the counterterrorism perspective. And you never think that you're going to be taken out first because you're the cop in the car with the gun, with the badge, and no one's going to hurt you. The bad guys factored in killing the cops first, the uniforms, then went inside the location and killed the persons inside by name that they were specifically targeting. And these were individuals directly associated with the Mohammed the cartoon mess. That is the kind of tactical assault that is our worst nightmare in the global security arena, in the law enforcement arena, and I guarantee you, much like we saw in Garland, that the chances of getting a heads up of that coming is slim to none. One of the big takeaways from that is that if you have venues in your location that have been targeted, you better take it very seriously. That once that person gets in their car and starts rolling to your location, either to carry out a Charlie Hebdo, a Garland, or to blow up a United States Embassy, or to attack the temporary uh, facility of Benghazi, they are in all probability going to be successful. Once it goes operational, they are going to be successful to some degree. And my point is, is that in order to have effective counterterrorism mindset to deal with this issue, that's a fine, fine line that we all have to walk. The people that need the most tactical information are you, and you don't get it. Until that is fixed, we will continue to see failures.